Just made it to Costa Maya. Um, we did we did morning mind benders again this morning. And we tied for first place, and there was a tiebreaker, and we lost. Yep. And we were so close. It was the gross tonnage of our ship, which was one of the questions that I was doing when I was doing my training for Virgin was the question. And I was so close. I was so close, but I went a little bit over, and the other team guessed one. Yeah, I think Price is right at us. There's Price is right. Close without going over, so we got that wrong. I feel like lost. you should have known the answer, though. I should have. I should have. It was close enough they should have just given it to me. <laughs> But anyways, we're having a good time. <laughs> we're in Costa Maya. Uh, we don't have any... Nice place. There you go, yeah. <laughs> you just meet people on the street. Yeah, nicest right. people. <laughs> So you got a milkshake? How was it? Me and Rachel both got affogato. I love it. It's so good. And then I got a macaroon. You can see it under there, but I only have two hands, so. What were you guys' thoughts on Costa Maya? I like it. I thought it was cute. It was cool. Yeah. Way too many people. Extremely crowded. <laughs> Way too many. We were there like for like four ships here. Yeah. We were there for like maybe an hour. Like it hour and a half, not very long, just because yeah. there's just so many people, it's hard to just walk around. It felt like a Disney fireworks dump. <laughs> yeah, but it was cool. Very touristy, we got some, like I said, ice cream and I got a shirt. Yeah, yeah he got a shirt for Scarlet Night tonight. We got Scarlet Night tonight. I am all ready for Scarlet Night. As you can see, I even got my black and red shoes on. You ain't gonna find another more Scarlet fella on this whole ship. Even got my Scarlet shades. So, um, we had plans to go see Dual Realities, uh, which is one of the shows they have on the ship. And apparently one of the performers got injured, so they canceled that show. Um, but they, at the same time, they had a Scarlet Night. Uh, they called it the Myth of the Scarlet Night. So basically, there's a little story that goes along with like why they do a Scarlet Night on every ship, uh, on every cruise. Um, I gotta say it was a little disappointing. <laughs> um, you kind of go to like the main, the like main entrance, like the, it's called the roundabout, um, and everybody just kind of like sits around. And then one person came out and like told a short story. It literally took like five minutes, and uh, I don't know, they, it wasn't like super interesting or intriguing, or I don't know. It was fine, like it was a story, it was, it was fine, but like, I don't know, I just think about like, if, if Disney had done it, like they would have put theatrics into it, and like they would have used a theater, and I don't know, it was just a little weird. Like they, like they, they didn't use the space at all, you know? Like they could have had performers run around the stairs because it's like the big roundabout stair, the big, you know, circular staircase. It's a very cool part of the ship that I'm like, why just have this one person stand there and tell the story? I don't know. It was just like, do more. This seems like a big deal. Like Scarlet Night, it seems like they make a big deal out of it. But I don't know. Okay, you know what it makes me think of? It made me think of camp. You know how like when you go to camp and they have like a big night where like, there's this, this story that like leads up to it and like it, it, there's a whole like last night event or something, I don't know. Like we were all sitting around, like everybody's like sitting around waiting for this story and like there's that anticipation, you know, that let, like, you know, oh, what's gonna happen? Nobody really knows what's gonna happen. It, it, it just made me think of camp. I thought that was just like the best example I could think of. Anyways, it was fine. Um, but the actual Scarlet Night party starts in a couple hours. So I'm still excited to see what that's all about. 
and they're supposed to be, there's a big finale that they do at 10.45 at the pool, so we'll see what that's all about. Um, until then, I'm, I've got dinner, I've got dinner late, so like I'm thinking I might just cancel my dinner reservation, or I might go down early, see if I, see if they'll just let me in early. Fingers crossed. So I decided to cancel my dinner reservations tonight because, well for one, I looked at the menu and I have some very weird specific allergies and there was a couple things I couldn't have anyways. And like, it was, so my reservation was for Test Kitchen. And it that's like their, their uh, Test Kitchen, They where they try different new crazy wild things. And like, our other agents that have gone have said, have like, they haven't really given it very good reviews, so there was also that. And it was super late, and like the, the Scarlet Night Party starts at 9, and my dinner reservation was like 9.15. It's like, well, I don't really want to miss that. So, I decided to just get a pizza and bring it back to my room. Last night I started watching Uncle Buck. Never seen it before, so I'm just gonna chill in my room, have pizza, and watch Uncle Buck. Hot tip. This is something I just started doing last night. Every room has a tablet and it has all kinds of crazy cool functions that like I wish I had started messing with it the day I got here. So like when you first get here, I highly recommend just messing around with the tablet and see what all it can do. I'm going to show you something in just a second. All right. So it's got all kinds of movies on it and you, you can pick the movie on the tablet and it'll play it on the TV. You know, nothing super fancy there, but if you see that if it's gonna focus. Okay, it says, there we go. Activate cinema mode. It dims the lights and closes the curtains for you. How cool is that? Uncle Buck, here we come. So they did it like in the roundabout, they had a big like dance number and then they just kind of like- performance and then they just kind of took off. Yeah. So we're seeing where it takes us. They said it's kind of ship wide, but like, yeah. I don't know, there kind of seems to be a flow. We're just trying to figure out the flow. We're going with the flow. <laughs> so we're headed into the red room, which is the theater. Looks like there's something, something going on here. It's kind of exciting, I don't know. I, 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 I can feel the, I can feel the excitement. It's, it's intriguing, it's intriguing. That's a good word for it. Hostess, she sang a couple songs, kind of elaborated on the story of Scarlet Night. And now sang she sang a couple songs very well. Very well. She's a beautiful singer. And then led us on to our next destination. Spoiler alert. So, like, the, the whole story is there's this octopus goddess, and they she randomly picked a girl out of the audience, and her name was Ariel. That was great. That was, of all the names. <laughs> of all the names. Her so name was perfect. Ariel. And so now Ariel is leading us towards our next destination. So this whole thing's just kind of organized chaos. Like there's sort of just like little pop-up events happening all around like the public areas of the ship. It's, it's kind of crazy. So like when you come, just explore and see what happens.
that was an absolute blast. <laughs> that was so much fun. I was like, especially after that like first thing when they were telling the story about the story of Scarlet Knight and it was like, what? Like it feels like they barely put any effort into this. Everything else was fantastic. Everything else was just like, like I said, it was just organized chaos. And then like they had the big finale and like everybody was just dancing and partying. And it was a lot of fun. I highly recommend Virgin after that. Like they do a lot of cool stuff, but Scarlet Knight has definitely been my favorite thing we've done so far on this on this on this cruise. It was it was so much fun. I can't even explain it. Like it's one of those things like I don't know. It, I feel like it's those things you see in movies, but then like they did a really good job of like making that come to life and like getting people involved and like making it enjoyable. I could definitely see myself doing another Virgin Cruise sooner than I planned. <laughs> a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So I just ordered room service, um, cause I, I kind of just wanted to experience it once uh, while on the ship. Also, I was, I was just hungry. So <laughs> um, room service is free as long as you order something that is, is charged, like is, you have to pay for something. So like, I just bought, I just bought some tea. Um, so, so there's no like extra delivery fee or anything, but like I got a whole meal for, you know, included, it's included in the price of everything, you know, I literally paid, I think it was like five bucks for the tea. And then, you know, all of the food was included in the price of the ship, you know? So that's very, very cool. 